TMZ Not So Proudly presents a uh, fun fact. Uh, fun fact. Steve Wozniak would be a good face guy now for Apple when they release the new iPhone and stuff like that. Well, it's true, Steve Jobs has resigned, but they already have a new CEO, so what's that? We should just go with his idea? Fine. So could the Woz be the new face of Apple? Steve Wozniak would actually be a good candidate for that, because he's dynamic, he's got all of that history, and you need somebody to carry the mantle that Steve Jobs carried. That's true, the Woz actually created the Apple One and Apple II computers in the mid-70s. He's got the history. And he was in Dancing with the Stars. Now you're getting into why he shouldn't be the face of Apple. He's too funny and goofy. But you need a showman. Steve Jobs wasn't a showman. The reason everybody liked him is because he seemed really smart. He knew the products really well. There wasn't anything funny about Steve Jobs. Exactly. The Woz kind of looks like the human version of a Muppet. In fact, let's just call him Wazzy Bear. And the face of your company should never be on a Segway, even if they're representing Segway. It's just weird. He's a good guy for this. He's got history with the, with the company. He's been creative with the company. He'd be a good guy. Well, you might be right. But one thing's for sure, we have absolutely no say in this whatsoever. Good night, everybody!